you are doing great now i am going to explain the what is the storage dimension group okay go to the product information management setup dimension and variant groups storage dimension group storage dimension group is a shared data we can see all legal entities uh, storage dimension group here different legal entities we can see here so now we'll enter one new one SWL site warehouse location 2 site warehouse location normally when you are uh, creating the real time just you can enter the site warehouse location is a client companies but here i have a lot of plenty of everything different legal entities so just i put number two okay site warehouse location saving so what is the storage dimension storage dimension group normally it decides the what level we have to keep the stock either site wise warehouse wise location wise it specially decides the stock of the item okay this is the storage dimension group what is a site just i'll site is nothing but like a intangible location it's a group of uh, warehouses site i'll duplicate this one go to the warehouse management I'll show what we have. So, it's got struck. Warehouse management collapse setup the warehouse warehouses. See here we have the WMS1 and WMS2. WMS1 the site is uh, is shown and warehouse 2 the site is uh, is shown. Okay, it's like an intangible location group of warehouses under the site. And the warehouse, warehouse is a physical existing warehouse. We can uh, store the products store the stocks whatever the stocks okay the locations warehouse image i opened these are the locations in the warehouse okay see different different kind of locations in each aisle in each rail racks and shelves these are like a different different kind of locations these are the locations inventory status inventory status normally we are using in uh, advanced warehouse management I will show what is the inventory status also. I am duplicating and going to the next page. Go to the same advanced uh, warehouse management setup inventory. The inventory statuses. Inventory statuses is showing the the product either is damaged or expired or available products. It will it will show everything whatever the stock we have everything. See here this is like a inventory blocking damaged products or like a which we already here we put the tick expired product tick when we issuing the stock or when we receiving outbound inbound that damaged products doesn't show it's showing only available products this is a inventory statuses okay we are using an advanced storage management and the license plate license plate also we are using in advanced warehouse management same just i'll open the warehouse image see here the pallets and the down these pallets the pallets called as a license plate okay different different pallets they kept uh, like a lot of some boxes on the each pallet different some more boxes 10 some five six like this everything okay these are the pallet called as a license plate okay just we can make it active 
site whereas it's a mandatory and location also active these two options the location dimension cannot have physical inventory activated without physical inventory being activated for the warehouse dimension so it's saying first we have to enable this physical inventory of the warehouse just to go this one just remove this one location first enable the physical inventory of the warehouse save it then location I think it's not saved. Just uh, sorry. Okay. Just remove this one. Save this one. The warehouse first to save this one. Physical inventory. Save it. And the location. Save it. Okay. This is all we can make it active. Okay. Site warehouse and location. And the inventory status license plus in advanced warehouse management. If you enable this option, the storage dimension, we can use for advanced warehouse management products, okay? See this one, use warehouse management process, okay? This is the option uh, difference for the normal products and advanced warehouse products, okay? The blank receipt allowed. See, when you cite warehouse, is like a mandatory. We have to be enter always. Blank receipt. See, when we receiving the products, uh, when we receiving any inbound products, in which location we have to keep so if you if you enable this one we are giving the option we no need to enter any location also we can proceed for the further process that that is the meaning of this enabling this option okay if you disable this option the blank receipt so we have to must enter the location this is the meaning of this one okay blank receipt not allowed this one okay you have to enter the location Normally, this one, everybody, know, nobody follow this one. We have to enter the location also. So, blank issue allowed. When you issuing the stock, outbound orders, okay? We have to enter the location or not. So, blank issue allowed means we are allowing the system uh, without entering the location also. We can proceed for the further process, the issuing the stock. If you enable this one, that is the option. If you, so we don't want to make a, and we don't want to be like a without entering the location we have to enter the location so we no need to enable this option okay physical inventory physical inventory is nothing but system maintaining the stock in a tracking the stock in a warehouse like a site wise warehouse wise and the location wise system is maintaining the stock okay see if you're getting like any outbound orders transfer order sales order uh, you have to reserve the stock physically you have to reserve the stock like a location wise warehouse wise if you not enable this option uh, if you not uh, the system will take any kind of location anywhere in the warehouse the system will take anywhere in the location the product so we have to enable this option you don't know which location it's taking this one system so if you enabling this one we need to know which location is taking everything this is a physical inventory okay the financial inventory financial inventory inventory is like a we can observe the financial inventory of the stock here we can capture the financial inventory of the stock here uh, we can uh, uh, the gl the gl posting side the site wise warehouse wise the financial gl posting okay e, depend on the cost of the items just i will show one example Just assume warehouse one. The item cost is hundred. Warehouse two. Item cost is two hundred. Average is one fifty. The cost of this item is average is 150. Okay. See, if you enabling the site level, the system will take financial post will uh, GL posting. It happens average cost of this uh, item, 100 and 200, whatever the average cost, it will take everything. Okay. Financial posting. If you enabling the warehouse also, if you enabling the warehouse 
the system will take the warehouse wise warehouse one is 100 cost price and warehouse two is 200 cost price the system will take the financial costing according to the warehouse cost price okay it's uh, depend on the client requirement whatever the client always uh, he prefer we have to be enable this option because some clients uh, probably sometimes they're thinking one warehouse cost price is 100 another just you can assume 110 is fine otherwise it's not going to be this much different cost price like a one warehouse and other warehouse just assume 110 okay okay 105 this is a cost price just assume okay see uh, some clients uh, probably the, sometimes they're thinking one warehouse cost is 100 and some when warehouse is 110 if they don't want impact the profitability of warehouse one whatever they're getting the profitability the profitability doesn't impact the warehouse two so in that scenario they like they're maintaining the warehouse one cost price it doesn't making any impacting on the warehouse one and warehouse two profitability separate separate everything okay so this is a financial posting And you can go up to the financial question location wise and uh, we have our tracking dimension also you can go up to batch and to serial number up to level you can go for the financial inventory depend on the clients requirements okay and then is a coverage plan by coverage plan by dimensions this one normally we're using in a master planning okay just this one okay coverage plan normally we are using in the master planning for purchase price see uh, when we receiving the stock when we receiving the stock same here do you want to main do you want to receive the stock as a see if you enabling the site level it will take like a common the site level average cost and the whatever the common cost uh, cost price of the items but if you enabling like a warehouse level it will taking the warehouse wise cost price the purchase price when we receiving the stock it will take like a warehouse price okay this 100 the warehouse one warehouse two because it depend on the warehouse is if is a warehouse is near to the vendor near to the vendor they can give this is a cost price if it's very far to the uh, the vendor so they're charging some extra transport everything all they're adding some more extra cost price okay depend on the everything whatever the requirement so depend on uh, different different prices the scenarios normally they're giving for warehouse one and warehouse two depend on the distance like a different different scenarios okay so for purchase price if you enabling the warehouse wise it will take like a warehouse price uh, different different warehouses different different prices okay for sales price when you issuing the when you issuing the stock if you enable the site if it will take the average cost of the item the both warehouses if you enabling the warehouse it will take the uh, both the different different warehouses as a warehouse price cost price okay whatever the the warehouse wise okay the for sales when you issuing the stock both is depend on the client requirements and this is a storage dimension group okay just save it where we have to assign this storage diamond and going group go to the product information management collapse release products open the item number edit see here this is a storage dimension group okay here we cannot assign this and we cannot map go for the product here a dimension group here you can uh, map it just see we created site warehouse location to just we can map it here we can map the storage dimension group okay here okay this is uh, about the storage dimension group uh, thank you for watching